What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Lightwork. Lightwork for short. And today I'm dropping this video on Madden 20 in reference to the ratings and the new Madden rating adjustment program that they have going on. Now, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for all the love and support. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for all the comments, all the likes. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell so you're notified when my videos do drop. But anyway, I'm going to let the video play. And also, I'll be interjecting throughout the video just to talk about it and just to explain a few things. I'm gone. I would like Saquon Barkley's jump to be accurately rated so that when I get down into the end zone, I can use, you know, left trigger and then X, dive over the pile. Clearly, what you are looking at has never before been seen on camera. He's a 93 right now. A 95 for that, from jumping from the four? That's a 95 plus. Let's slow our roll here a little bit. Here, the fates of the NFL's biggest stars are being decided. This is yeah. the official petition to make Lamar Jackson faster than Mike Vick was. This select team of nine analysts controls the action, not on the field. Zeke Elliott at a 95 jump can clear a fully standing eagle. <laughs> But in the game that's been played by more than 175 million people worldwide, Madden NFL. Madden Ratings Adjuster is really like a scout. We are guys trying to capture their essence and capture their skills with our numerical rating system. A Madden rating determines how our players perform on the field inside of Madden. We calculate a number of ratings across every player, such as awareness, broken tackle rating, speed, and then that coalesces into an overall rating. Madden was first released in 1988, and for nearly its first two decades, Player ratings were updated once a year during the offseason. Now, a lot of young viewers don't or won't remember this, but Madden only had one update, and that was during the offseason. So whatever your player was rated in the offseason or going into the game, that was their rating through the whole year. Now I feel like they're doing a, a big service by updating them constantly, at least every week, as he will say to give you a more authentic feel of each player. Some players have bad years and their ratings should go down. Some are having fire years and are on a hot streak, so their ratings should go up. So just understand that they're doing their best to give you the better, the best feel for each player in reference to ratings. But by 2009, that was no longer good enough. During the season, we update our ratings every single week. So if a player shows up out of nowhere, the one that comes to mind right now is Patrick Mahomes. That was a player that we were consistently upgrading every single week. But with great power comes great responsibility. The players absolutely care, and if they think that we have it wrong, they're gonna let us know about it. And last summer, one voice spoke the loudest. Leonard Fournette caught wind of his 87 in Madden and got really upset about it. So the team went down to the Jacksonville training camp to meet with him. Man, a 90? A higher? You might as well just take me off the. I'm not no 87, 88, 89. And so that's kind of where the rating adjuster program kind of came to life. I am glad that Leonard Fournette was able to get the attention of these guys and let them know how he really felt about his rating. Now, players complain every year, and that comes with the territory, so they definitely understand that. But Leonard, I guess, made the most noise by saying, take me out of the game, and I'm glad they made the adjustment to that. It wasn't too long after that, players started asking if an adjuster could come to a game to check them out because they didn't like their rating either. My Madden rating is horrible. It is trash. Yeah, y'all got my jumping week, bro. I seen that. Twitter always tells me how I'm trash on Madden. So let's 
Name somebody that's 91. He not better than me, whoever you just named. Come on. With all the scrutiny on ratings, Madden overhauled its adjustment program in 2018, adding new analysts. Matt Sirio, Twitter guy. Anthony White, gameplay designer. Zach Farley, a.k.a. the Madden Bible. One adjuster is even the son of a former Madden cover athlete. His pass blocking would probably be underrated. Uh, people don't give him enough credit for that. Overrated, probably his speed. Everyone probably put him at a 99. You know, his speed would probably be a little overrated. The adjusters now had the manpower to step out of the conference room. And start evaluating players from the trenches. This past season was the first season that we started sending guys out to games to really kind of get more involved in it. There are certain mechanics that go into how the guys are moving and functioning, how the playbooks are being set up. There's a lot of things you can get on the sideline or in the stands that you can't get on film. I'm going to try to gather that intel that we think is important to make these things accurate. After the games, the team reconvenes for Judgment Day. On average, 600 ratings are changed each week. Clint, I know you were at the game in Denver. What's some of your best notes? Yes. Chargers offensive line. I mean, Rivers couldn't step up if he wanted to. So I think I think we should look at their pass block ratings definitely going down a bit. Now, I do like that they're going to these games and getting a true feel for these players. I mean, I think what a lot of us want is an authentic game, and that goes to ratings as well. So they're really getting a true feel for the game. So if you go see Saquon Barkley and you see that he's running away from people, then obviously his speed and acceleration need to be higher. Or if you see Aaron Donald dominating uh, the front line, then his rating needs to obviously go up, even though he's a 99. So, and if you see players doing bad as he's talking about the Chargers pass blocking in reference to my Denver Broncos, then that's a plus too. So I really do like the fact that they're going to these games and getting a in-game feel. It's not just scouting from the stands. When they can, Clint and his colleagues get FaceTime with their biggest critics. Hey, man, hey, man, no, man, get your head up here, man, hold on, man. Hey, I came by my catching, bro. You got my catching like a 64. It's not that low, is it? Yeah, y'all right. got to get I'm gonna that up. Make it up. Okay. You got 92 speed. I ain't tripping about the speed. What do you think your speed rating should be? At least a 90. A 90? Man, you ain't got to be crazy. I need a 9 zero. Yeah. <laughs> okay. From below 95, I'm coming to find you. All right. I'm coming to find you. That's a deal. Let me know. Yes, <laughs> If anyone understands the players' frustrations, it's Clint. I know what I'm looking for in a ratings adjustment. I know what bad looks like. <laughs> That's because Clint Oldenburg is not just a Madden ratings adjuster. I played a total of four and a half years in the NFL, and I was in Madden. Of course, I would look at the ratings, usually very underwhelmed with my ratings and I know what low ratings that guys don't want because I had those ratings. So the next time you pick up your controller, the next time you use the hit stick, remember the conference room in Orlando where the game becomes the game. I think the Madden Ratings Adjuster program has made the game better. We get to build an NFL world for millions of people. So in closing to the video, I think they're moving in the right direction with the Madden adjustment program. I think they're doing the right thing by going out, seeing the game, seeing these players firsthand. Now, in the comment section, let me know if they got it right, if they're getting it wrong, if it's still trash. I mean, to me, the ratings are kind of pointless if you don't play the modes like franchise mode or the regular play now or online head to head. So to me, if you play those modes, then obviously this is very important. If you don't, then obviously uh, it's not important to you. So just let me know how you feel in the comments section. But 
It's your boy Light Work. I am out. Light work ain't always easy work, but somebody got to do it. Peace.